The first part of the process began long before we broke ground. Our planning team met to define our objectives and make sure that all contributors to the home were working together to meet our goals for sustainability. Once our location and plans were set, it was time to prepare for construction. Our surveying team came to mark the lot lines and parameters of the home. After that, our silt fence was installed to meet local code requirements and reduce the possibility of soil erosion during construction. After all the preparation, we were ready to excavate and prepare for the foundation. All successful projects start with a good foundation, and so did our green home. We started our foundation by pouring the footings. Rebar was set inside the footing forms to give them extra strength to support the foundation walls, which incorporated a green technology called insulated concrete forms, also known as ICFs. The insulated concrete forms are two sides of insulated uh, styrofoam. On every eight inches, there's a, a nailer that actually holds from front to back on a styrofoam form that actually makes up the insulated concrete form itself. On the blocks themselves, the ICF insulated concrete forms, they're not only between the black tabs, which are the nailers, but there's one inch increments in between that also. That you have to actually cut on the one inch increments to keep your black lines all in a row. Once the project is complete, you'll see that all of the black lines are in, in a row and that helps for keeping everything straight for drywalling, for nailing. Plus when you're cutting on your one inch increments, if you stay on those, it will always keep everything in line. The insulated concrete forms, we build the first course, we put the second course on that, that locks our wall together. On top of the footing that our form will sit on, we actually take a adhesive foam that actually holds the block to the footing, which then also holds the block in place. We need that to stay in that on our red lines that are already snapped. Once the ICFs were set in place, it was time to fill them with concrete. Here, we used another green product, since the mixture for the concrete was made with fly ash, a byproduct of energy production that would have otherwise ended up in a landfill.